the people right there. What's going on guys, it's Tommy here. You may or may not know me from TikTok or Instagram, but this is my YouTube channel, so welcome. Today, I'm gonna take you guys through some Boston sayings slash phrases, and me being from East Boston, I'll verify if they're true or not. So obviously today we're stuck in some shitty weather. I thought it was gonna be sunny out, what are you gonna do? So we're gonna take you through it. We're gonna try to take a stroll down Fenway, and then go from there. I'm gonna tell you a story. It's so weird, like, vlogging. This is my first time doing a vlog, so it's so different than holding a tripod up and doing a fucking... All right, so right here, we're approaching the David Ortiz Bridge. Shout out David Ortiz, I miss that guy. The bridge is right here, the pike's over here, so that's gonna bring me to my first phrase. All right, so when someone says, dude, I'm stuck on the pike, that's why I'm late to work. This is what they're talking about right here. If you see me on TikTok, you definitely heard my accent before, and I get a lot of bullshit for us here. I'm exaggerating this and that. This is how we talk here. Look at that sign right there, too. <laughs> All right, the next Boston phrase I'm gonna talk about is taking the tea. What the fuck is the tea? If someone says, I gotta, I gotta go catch the tea, the blue line's gonna leave without me, it means the train station. Easy. Easy to remember, it's like a math equation. Another one of my favorite ones is banging a Yui. You stop at a red light, you gotta go the other way, you just bang a Yui, bang a three point turn. I doubt any of these cops will do it right here, but that's all it is, bang a U turn. So, right here, we got Lansdowne Street, beautiful Fenway Park right here. Take a little stroll down and see what we see. As you can see, it's like a fucking ghost town here because it's fucking raining out and cold. It sucks, but yeah, so the House of Blues is over here. We got the Fenway Gate right here. Another phrase I'm going to go over is pack. I don't usually use it. My parents use it. I think it's that generation's thing. But if someone says, hey, I got to go grab a case of Bud Light at the Packy, they're talking about the liquor store. Oh, so the Green Monster's right here. All right, so as you can see, that's the Green Monster seat. And if you park your car here, I'd be very careful. Ortiz back in the day probably broke a few windshields. Ooh, Ooh nice. nice. Somebody's gonna need a new windshield. Next up, we got a triple decker. So, me, living in East Boston. I've born and raised in the same house, I still live in it today. A triple decker is just an old fashioned Boston house, three story house, triple decker. All right, so another Boston word that I really didn't even know is Johnny. So, a Johnny is like a hospital gown. I don't even know what I call the hospital gown. I think I just called it, yeah, give me the thing. You know, it's with the doctor, you know, touch your scrotal, it'll give you a little, so you put the hospital gown on so they can't see it, you know, when you go for a physical, but that's what a Johnny is, a hospital gown. All right, next word is tonic. So tonic just means soda. My nan always drinks the gin and tonic. I don't know if that's a thing anywhere else. I mean, I don't say tonic, I say soda, but my nana isn't allowed to drink gin and tonic anymore after what happened last Christmas, but it's not good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this one is child ahead. I don't use this one, but I think it's because Boston's known for clam chowder. You know, you call someone a chowder head, it's like calling them a dickhead or a prick. I don't know. I don't use it though. The union guys right now. What's going on, guys? How you doing? Yeah, I don't I use that word. But What's up, dude? How you doing? You local? I appreciate your work. I got luck with the union guys. I got a bunch of buddies. Have a good day. Union guys right there. Good blue collar guys. That's what I like to see. <laughs> you kind of thought I was like being an asshole. Let me see how he looked at me. I was like, oh, am I gonna fight right now? <laughs> One more phrase is going down the garden. And I ain't talking about flowers. If you're from Boston, you know what the garden is. TD Garden used to be TD Bank North Garden. Catch a bees game, catch a C's game. Bees and C's is Bruins and Celtics. You video me? Yeah, show my girl. This yeah. I love you. Yeah, let me know. What's going on? How you doing? Thanks for watching the videos. I appreciate you. The guy's a good guy, this guy. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching the videos, brother. Thank you. Appreciate it. Shit happens all the time. <laughs> from here, we're going to go to Game On. Check out the bar, grab a bite to eat, maybe grab a beer, hit some balls. I haven't played baseball since so I was literally 12 years old, so we'll see how that goes. And then we'll get uh, some sort of review going. So let's take a walk over there now. Check out there. We got, got the game on staff here. Best staff. We're best doing staff it. in the country. We're doing it. My guy Ricky, East Boston, born and raised. Yeah. Different breed there. We eat in a big different breed. Nice. We should buy. So this is Rufus, head of promotions here at Game On. How's it going? We're gonna go take a look downstairs a little bit and we're gonna hit the batting cage. Is that, that cool? Alright, let's go. We're gonna do some batting practice right now. Can't judge me, I'm a hockey player, so I don't know how good I'm gonna do here. Tom is a fucking. Tom is a sharpshooter, so we're gonna see. <laughs> Throw him a 90 ball real quick. Tom, you got this. It's a 90 ball? Alright. Tom just Tommy. Oh, look at that! Look at the fucking throw on here! Call me Badugo. Alright. Holy shit! 
Yeah. Was that right up the yeah. middle? Right, did you get that video? It was like it wasn't on purpose. I just happened so quick. I was just like, yo, what's the theory? Yeah, it all was weird. Wow, that was almost really bad. Wow, would have got it on camera too. <laughs> Alex Cora, check out the clips. Let me know. All right, we're gonna shoot some hoops. Six, three, buzzer beater, buzzer beater. Oh, come on. <laughs> Made a scene. 32, I don't know. Oh my God, that's bullshit. <laughs> Get out of here. 218. All right, so I'm doing a pizza review. Before I do it, this is not a box stool operation. This is not Dave Portnoy, Portnoy. I'm sorry I'm doing this, but I thought it looked cool. So I'm doing a local pizza review, not Boston. It's my own thing, it's my own review. All right, we're at Game On, right outside of Fenway, and we're gonna review their cheese pizza and their meat lovers. Up first, we got cheese. Looks good, a lot of cheese, thin crust. I, I'm more of a thick crust guy, but take a fat one right here. Look at that. Decent flop, not too much cheese. You know the rules, I'm not gonna say it though, I'm not gonna get copyrighted. Mm. I gotta say, so you see the minimal burnt. I don't like it too burnt, but I do like it a little well done. No grease, good amount of cheese. It's a solid pie. Odd uh, time, 8 5. Give it an A5 for the cheese. Next up, we got the meat lovers, so this is gonna be a big bite for me. Look at that. It's a lot of fucking shit on there. This is gonna probably go right through me, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> People walking by. You guys can go around. All right. It looks like there's pepperoni, bacon. I don't know, what the fuck is this? Pepperoni, bacon, sausage. Let's see. Thinner crust again. Look at that flop, heavy. This shit's fucking, what is that? Half an ounce? Good kick. Solid pie. I mean, kind of a mouthful for me, but uh, I can't even fucking swallow it right now. It's fucking, that's all, it's all in my fucking mouth. But all around, good meat lovers pizza. Um, oh, my fucking face too. <laughs> all around, I'm gonna give the meat lovers um, eight seven. It's solid, it's filling me up. I can eat this. I mean, it's, it's not too thick though. I mean, it got the, the thin, I mean, yeah, look at this. Very thin. Good people right there. <laughs> thin, thin crust, lightly burnt, just how I like it. And uh, solid 8.7, solid 8.7. That's gonna wrap up the review. Overall, good food here. Make sure you check out Game On. So basically why I wanted to start this YouTube is because if you know my other content, I do a lot of skits, so you can't really see my real personality. I'm playing a character all the time. So now with the vlogs and I'm starting a podcast, you can start to see my real personality, get to know me, and I can build a brand off myself. So a little bit about what my channel is going to be about. I'm Boston based. I want to do a lot of vlogs. I want to collab with other influencers and travel around a little bit. So it's going to be kind of like a lifestyle vlog with a little entertainment. I'll try to crack a few jokes. You may or may not laugh, but this is me. That's what it's going to be. So down the line, we're going to do a few videos where we're going to go up to random people in Boston and quiz them on Boston lingo, hockey lingo. For example, we're going to go outside the TD Garden and we're going to quiz the hockey fans on hockey lingo. If they get a certain amount of words correct, then they will be gifted a free gift card to Dunkin' Donuts or Pure Hockey. I'll think of something, but we're going to be doing a lot of fan interaction, a lot of um, interaction with people in public just to make it entertaining for you guys and try to keep it funny. So you got to stay tuned for that. Uh, I've been saying I'm going to do YouTube for the last year, but the main like the main piece of advice I would give someone that's trying to start a YouTube or wants to start a YouTube because I dealt with this myself is just like getting that fuck it mindset. Like you just can't care what other people think. Like for example, I'm in a bar right now, there's people working around me. Like I'm just talking into a camera. Like I'm sure people have their eyes on me, but like I don't really give a fuck. Like you just have to not care what others think and do stuff for yourself. At the end of the day, it's just gonna benefit yeah. me and you, you know? So 
And think about your, your fans, think about your supporters. The, I know my supporters, the people that DM me every day want to see this, so I'm not worried about what Joe Schmo is thinking about me across the room. Like, I don't, I don't care. So it's just starting it, it's just doing it, you know? People always ask me, like, how'd you get to social media? I just was fucking around on TikTok one day and made a funny video. People thought it was funny. And then all of a sudden I had 100,000 followers and 100,000 turned to a million. And it's like, you not posting that video that you're a little nervous to post because you're scared of what other people are gonna think, they have no effect on you. Yeah, sure, they're gonna talk a little shit, but the more you do it, the more normal it gets. Now I'm just known as the Boston TikTok guy, and now all those people that were talking shit about me or saying whatever that I heard are now hitting me up to get in a video to do this, to do that, because that's always what happens. I just went on a little rant right there, but that's my motivation. Hey, that, that could be another thing I do on this channel, give you guys a little motivation, some advice. Also, this is not a sponsorship. Not a sponsorship. Dunks, I know you're watching. I fucking reached out to you guys, you didn't answer me. So Dunks, sponsor me if you want to get some fucking uh, promo for me, asshole. This is not a sponsorship, so fuck them. Um, once we start giving up the gift cards, we'll yeah, be, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, once I start giving out your gift cards, you better be fucking paying me for it, assholes. But, uh, yeah. I might have just lost a sponsorship right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that about wraps up the vlog. If you watched this far, I appreciate you. Make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for the ride. I'm still new to this YouTube thing, so I need you guys to comment down below and tell me what you want to see next. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Have a good day, guys.